Hey everybody, so we've heard that a third of the Disney cast members prefer to live in Lake County. And I heard that because my husband, who is still a Disney cast member for over 30 years, got that information as well as my goddaughter, Chelsea. Her grandmother lives out in Claremont as well. So we can't wait to show you everything that this area has to offer. Stay tuned as we start to give you more information on Claremont. The choice for champions, that's what Claremont is known as because it brings in some of the most world-renowned athletes because of the great training opportunities that are here. From the great weather to the outdoor opportunities with hiking, biking, all the trailheads, the lakes, and then also the National Training Center. They've got a great team out there that's ready to take care of you and your active lifestyle. One of the things this area is known for are these beautiful lakes. There's an entire chain of lakes out here with homes on it. And you also have the opportunity for public access where you can bring your boat out, have a family day. You can come out and be super active. It's just an awesome area to come out and enjoy the day. Waterfront Park, where we're at right now, is a spot where a lot of people come out to do their morning walks or their evening walks. It is a huge trail that wraps around the entire lake that you're able to come out and enjoy. There's also playgrounds, bathrooms, there's tons of amenities that are along this. They also do 5Ks and cycling. Cycling is a huge thing out here in Claremont. We're here at Lake Louisa which is a state park just south of Claremont. Here you'll find over seven miles of biking trails and over 20 miles of hiking trails. They even have a thing called the Wonderlust Club where you can pay a one-time annual fee and be able to come in and kayak and bicycle and hike and even get two horseback rides a year. You can even rent cabins here. They have two bedroom, two bath cabins that from what we've seen recently run about $120 a night with a two night minimum. So as you look at the rolling hills that you find up in this part of Florida, you'll find a lot of Olympic athletes actually do their training in this area. So if you're looking for a great place to live, great place to work, and if you're an outdoorsy kind of person, Claremont is the place to be. Did you realize that if you look at a map and you look at this new coast to coast bike trail, which is 250 miles from one coast to the other of Florida, that you're going to be able to bike 250 miles, but there is a midpoint and it's called Meet Me in the Middle Park. And that's going to be in Claremont as well. They're in the process of creating that now, but there's over 23 parks. You're going to be able to get outside, enjoy the weather. I'm looking at an area that I could even perceive that it looks like Virginia to me, Michigan. It's really a spectacular gym. I can see why the Disney cast members want to live here. On the shores of Lake Mineola near downtown, you will find the Historic Village Museum that showcases many of the city's oldest houses and buildings, including the original train depot. This is also the home of the Quonset Hut World War II Museum, where you will find military veterans volunteering their time and stories. Claremont was founded in 1884 and incorporated in 1912. In 1922, a developer came out and bought a thousand acres to turn into orange groves. This is how Claremont came to be known for its citrus. In the 1950s, the citrus tower was erected so that people could go up and get a bird's eye view of all of those orange groves and the land that encompassed what is now known as Claremont. In the 1980s, unfortunately, there was a horrible freeze here in Florida that actually killed majority of the orange groves, which led into the development of all these beautiful homes that are out here now.
If you're looking for that hometown feel, that small town charm, nothing beats downtown Claremont. Between the farmer's market, the historic village, the locally owned shops, restaurants, and bars, you don't want to miss out on this awesome area. So one of the great things about being right here in the Claremont area is they put on some fantastic events throughout the year between their fall festival, their Christmas events, their live music on the weekends. You don't want to miss out. They put on some great stuff. While driving to Claremont, you will notice that Claremont's really unique to Central Florida. The area has rolling hills that provide beautiful views to the Claremont chain of lakes. The lakes are also a favorite spot for family events and swimming. Sandy beaches, children's playgrounds, beach volleyball, bike paths, and other outdoor activities can be found on the shores of Lake Mineola. So in Claremont, you're going to find rolling hills, you're going to find lakes, you're going to find bike paths. But one of the gems that's really kind of difficult to find, but if you can look it up, it's called Southern Hill Farms. And this is an area that typically around 11 to 4, you can get through these gates and you're going to find a sunflower field. You're going to be able to pick blueberries, strawberries by the pound and you pay for it there. They've got a lot of stuff for the families, and so it's very unusual. It's really quite a blessing. You can feel like you're on God's acreage right here in Claremont, Florida. So currently, if you want to get from Disney to Claremont, it's going to take you upwards of 40 minutes or so. But we're standing here on a construction site that's going to basically take that time and cut it in half. It's going to run all the way from 27 down into Horizons West. And so it will connect 429 to 27 and it's going to basically shave off half of the time that it takes today for you to get from Claremont to Walt Disney World or Walt Disney World to Claremont. And right behind me is called the Claremont Brewing Company. And let's not forget, they had the Lake Ridge wine area right here in Claremont as well. And not far from this area, the Saranoa Lakes. Wonderful brand new homes are being built out there. As a matter of fact, let's take a second and check it out. The newest development in the Claremont area is Wellness Way, which encompasses over 15,000 acres. The first major project in Wellness Way is called Olympus, a 243-acre master plan community that combines sports, wellness, entertainment, and over 1,000 residential homes with a town center. Claremont combines history and new communities. So we're in for a big treat. We're standing here in front of the Donut King. Now this is my first time actually being here, but I've had Donut King many times. You'll be amazed at the different donuts that they have here. Also being located in Mineola, when we spoke with Pat Kelly, the mayor of Mineola, he said at one time, Donut King had more employees than he had for the entire town of Mineola. And as far as you Iron Man and Iron Women fans, not too far from here is Mineola, and that is a real gem. They actually have one of the highest peaks in Florida. It's called Sugarloaf Mountain. And we did an interview with the mayor, Pat Kelly, and there's some resemblance to John Dutton with Yellowstone. So please be sure to subscribe and like to our Near Disney YouTube channel. Check out that interview and see how Yellowstone connects to Mineola. Hey, 
honey, you know, we decided to come back to Southern Hill Farms because, you know, we've been talking a lot about legacy. And there was a gentleman that you were telling me the story about that really um, had a lot to do with this Claremont area even being what it is. Yeah, it's very interesting. When you look at the histories of these small towns around Disney, Claremont is very unique. So in 1922, a gentleman named Edward Dinslow moved here from Ohio and he bought a thousand acres of land. And in order to work the orange groves, he planted oranges. And in order to work the orange groves, he brought down retired postal workers. So it's really unique, honey, that they actually had these postal workers from the north come down. And after a few years, not only did they work the land, but they had their own groves. So you're telling me the mailman delivered. The mailman did deliver in this case. Well, we're so glad because this place that we're looking at right now, Southern Hill Farms, is beautiful. The other areas that we've seen in Claremont are gorgeous. And so we're going to ask everybody out there, what is your legacy? Yeah? I like that. Yeah. Like Shalom, that. what's your legacy? Make sure that you subscribe and like to our Near Disney channel. It's on YouTube and we're also on Instagram. And let us know if there's anything else that you'd like us to report on. Great. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Make sure that you subscribe and like so that we can continue to give you up-to-date information on all things that are going around the 25-mile radius of Cinderella's Castle because this is truly a magical place to live.